Welcome ladies and gentlemen. In this Bismuth tutorial I will show you how you can convert your Bismuth slag back into pure Bismuth via reduction. The tutorial consists of four separate parts. In case you want to know only a specific portion of the tutorial information, this part and part one respectively will give you an overview what to expect to find in the other parts of this tutorial. In addition, I will give you the concept behind the chemistry involved and how my preferred method works and how you can replicate it for yourself. Part 2 will show you the necessary preparation like the necessary tools involved, choosing a proper location and preparing the materials before we go into the reduction and the process itself. Part 3 will showcase footage of the reduction and the final result in combination with a recap. And part 4 is the final conclusion which will involve pros and cons, alternative methods and my personal opinion regarding the process. Now let's begin with the chemical theory behind the reaction. The chemical reaction involves combining bismuth oxide with charcoal, also known as carbon. Carbon is a relevant element we need. Afterwards, the mixture is heated under high temperature. When the temperature is reached, the reaction will start and the reduction begins to take place. The bound oxygen is separated from the bismuth itself and the result will be the pure bismuth. Our workflow will be simple and could be repeated multiple times if the result isn't satisfying on the first try. First, we prepare materials we want to purify. The second step will be the reduction itself, where we process our prepared materials. And the third and last step is the clean up of our result. My chosen method is the following. In order to reduce costs, I choose charcoal for the mixture and the heating process itself in order to generate the sufficient heat. In addition, this method reduces the initial costs for necessary tools required, like a dedicated oven or stove. Now you can either use this knowledge and try it for yourself or you can go in and prepare with me in part 2. If the process itself is what you are curious about, the third part will be the right choice for you. And the fourth part is right for you if you are only interested in the results and the final conclusion with my opinion. You made it finally through part one. Thank you very much for watching and if you liked what you saw and you want to keep track for the next part, consider showing your support and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.